How's it going guys? Hank here back at it again with another short video on the Review and Preview Sports YouTube channel. And of course, as always, please don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Review and Preview Sports. And of course, please don't forget to hit that big red button down below. Give us a like, give us a comment, listen to your thoughts. We want to hear from you guys. And breaking news, the San Diego Padres have just re-signed Manny Machado to an 11-year $350 million contract, and are we surprised? Well, okay, maybe you could be surprised in the sense that this is a team that, you know, you would think on paper was a small market team. But I'm also not surprised because this is pretty much what A.J. Preller, AJ Preller does. He goes out shoves all his chips into the middle of the table to try to put the Padres ahead of the Dodgers. And will that succeed this year? I don't know. I still think the Dodgers are the better team on paper. But let's look at who's on this team now. You got Fernando Tatis signed that mega deal, and we know they're going to get him back eventually after his suspension. You've got Xander Bogarts, who you just signed away from the Boston Red Sox, who also, I believe, has an either an 11- or 12-year contract, which I talked about in another video, which I thought, well, good for them, not good in the long term. And obviously, I'm going to get to the Machado contract, but now you also have Juan Soto, who you traded from the Washington Nationals, and they're going to have to pay him eventually too. Now, with Manny Machado... This is a third baseman who is one of the best in baseball. I would say probably second only to Nolan Arenado. He helped carry your team to the National League Championship Series for the first time since, I want to say 1998. I think that's because they don't really make, the Padres haven't made too many deep runs in their history. So definitely see why it's important to keep him around. But 11 years, $350 million. There is no way he is going to outperform that contract. So it's probably a win in the short term, a somewhat of a win. But in the long run, these moves the Padres is making are going to get very, very ugly. But that's pretty much all I have to say. Let us know your thoughts. What do you think of the Machado deal? Do you think it was the right move by the Padres? Do you think they overpaid? And that's pretty much all I have to say. Until next time, I'm Hank and Dicker, and I will see you guys later.